Hello everyone, I'm Grattles, and welcome to a new episode of City Skylines. This is New Brighton, and if you're new to my channel, and you like what you see, please click the like button, subscribe, comment, and share. And the last episode, we left off with this college campus that we completely redone, and I'm going to share with you something. In between episodes, I always run uh, like a scenario and see how it goes. I let the game run, see how the traffic flows. And with this, it was a mess because when you put all these college uh, varsity teams together, they cause a great deal of traffic. They seem to have events going on at the same day. Now, I don't know how realistic that is, but it causes a massive amount of traffic. And so when I was going through this, I was looking at it and it is just atrocious. So I had mentioned when we put the high density in that I would like to run the um, highway all the way through and connect it to the other highway. So that's where I'm at today. I'm going to actually put it through the center here and go down to the college and wrap it up into that highway there, right along that path. And I'm going to rework the whole college campus as well uh, to kind of have some pass-bys. So this way they can get to the function they want without having to go through the other one. Another thing that we've had a lot of trouble with, well, I've had a lot of trouble with, is this railroad. It has a one-way in and out. And it causes so much backup in the train station that I think we might benefit by using a different train station. So I do change that up as well. So yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and get into it and I hope you enjoy. So I delete all this in here and then I go across to the high density. And unfortunately I have to delete a lot of the walking paths and move that box down. And then I start building off and splitting the highway into two to go in two different directions around. And then I build off of there. So I have to use my elevation tool to get it to level off just the way I wanted it to. And I kind of make this, it almost looks like a shield to me. Um, but yeah, I just wanted it to come out nice and clean and even. So I kept backing it up and making sure it was the exact amount on both sides. And then I just connect them up together. It is rather unique, uh, as you can see, but it gets the job done quite well, actually. So here I'm just correcting the uh, directions, and next we're gonna head over to the campus. So in this section, I'm just going to come in and start our highway on this end. And I do keep the highway raised off the ground because this is super tight. We're right up against the map here and I do need to get on and off ramps uh, pretty close into, <laughs> into this section. And it was a little difficult, but we do get it done. And I do end up having to rework some of the stuff I had there just so it matched up a little bit better like these on and off ramps on here from this highway to this highway it's not the best setup but because we're on the edge of the map i really didn't have a lot of choice um but i did run it after i set it all up and it was functioning pretty good it wasn't perfect but it was much better than what it was before so here we're just doing the off ramps to the other highway but then we're also going to need some on and off ramps for the college itself. And that's quite unique in its own. I do kind of like a little loop kind of thing. Uh, it's a long, uh, narrow kind of loop. And I actually place some of the buildings, but you'll see when we do get down to that. Now here I'm just catching the highway off of the high density, running it down and connecting the two together. So here I'm just playing around a little bit with the train because the train is a little high in some spots. But overall, I did get it to connect quite well. And I did have a six lane going through there as well. So I do change uh, that and put it back to a certain part because that was the original uh, road coming off that highway. But I kind of liked it. So I end up coming back here and just fitting it in um, underneath. But as you can see, they, 
highway wasn't elevated enough I started dipping down too soon and so it would not fit underneath but then I changed it up I got it back up to the height I needed and next we're ready to move our sports buildings and set them up a bit different so in this next part I just bring down the paint of the college so this way I can move these buildings out of the way so I have the room to bring down the new highway road setup in uh, the college area and if you don't paint the area with the college you cannot move them to just any road they have to be painted under the college and so that's what I did and then here I just straightened out a crooked road I don't know why it was crooked but it was bugging me so I straightened it out and yeah we move on to the next so in this next section I'm just trying to figure out how to get on and off ramps and do sort of like a little loop around in the college area with uh, some of the highways so I brought some of this down they're quite short I know but they work that's the main thing it's only for the college sports this just goes into that area so I wasn't too worried about having long on and off ramps and then I just needed to kind of like crisscross them because obviously one's going in and one's going out and they're in that sort of direction so here I'm just trying to figure out which is the best way to go about it so here I start just running a little bit of the one way just to figure out exactly how far I wanted it to come down as well as how far apart I wanted them now doing this you have to come in straight otherwise it automatically loops so I didn't want the loop there so I came down to the end and I think I actually make it closer together because it was too far apart we didn't need that much space but we do need a lot of space for the building so next I kind of run it a lot closer together so this way there's not a lot of space in between and then I loop the bottom there so in the next part I just connect up the ramps to the road and I have to slip underground for the one side but uh, yeah it just goes in quite easily and we move on to the next step so now it's time to run the roads for the buildings and I just made a road on the outside to kind of give me an idea of the size of each building that I was placing and how close I could get to the highway with them so I just placed a gravel road around just so I can figure out the size and placement so here I'm just kind of running in a little bit of inside roads just to see where they would fit when I spun them around and turned them around and now I'm kind of going through the inside with this highway and then giving each building their own road this way they can bypass the event that's going on if they want to go to a different event and I thought it would be the best way for them to get around so I'm still working it it was such a long time I'm fitting in services now which is medical police fire and I wanted them to have their own little space now I do give you a little view of the traffic and it is still high and I do make further adjustments down the line um, here I'm just reworking the outside road and I think in the next bit I'm going to put in better walking paths and a metro station designated just for the varsity sports so it's just going to be a quick little uh, small uh, metro station down by the services and I do walking paths from there so they can all connect from there so here we are I'm just adding some walking paths um, the metro I was talking about and I was just finding a good place for the metro I think by the services is fine as long as I can get those walking paths up and around and I'm really hoping that this works to take a lot of these cars off the roads uh, during the sporting events um, I did connect it one way and then I, I have trouble sometimes connecting to this um, metro station for some reason when I go underground it pops up to the surface and I have to push it down again to get it under the ground but eventually I get it worked out and now I just run all these paths to each building um, by itself so this way they can get around to each of the events without walking on the roads 
uh, because these roads are highways there are no sidewalks so you have to place paths in order to get your sims to walk around so I did just that and uh, I hope it works so we're going to go ahead into the next part and we are going to add uh, the new train station and then I'm gonna just give you an overview of what we did so next we're gonna go in and we're gonna grab the ground bypass train station and this one I think will work quite well I opened up uh, a new tile on the top and this way I can bring in trains from both sides that I'll show you in a minute here I'm just trying to figure out uh, which train station to use I picked this one and I connect the roads right through from the metro and run the train track right around the area here's the new tile I picked and we just grab off of here and we connect it underground it was the only way we can really go and I had to go towards the edge of the map here only because I have a lot of underground tunnels over here as well as the metro but uh, I get it to connect up so it's fine it works and um, yeah we're gonna just connect these roads up and I have to go up and over because uh, it is on ground level and I'm playing around with how I wanted to work this I ended up changing it up again so yeah I just kind of reworked this because I wanted a specific way I want to do one-way roads in from the outside road uh, this way they can come and connect because they have the parking lot right there and uh, yeah I change up the roads in a little bit uh, but this I wanted to redo because I didn't like the way it came up and over so I just redid it and now I end up putting in the one ways here and this way the traffic will flow right inside the uh, train station and I just add the walking paths to the uh, tr the new train station in the front there so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a peek of the traffic there is no sporting event going on right now but um, yeah I give you an idea that it looks a lot better so overall I mean it's not a wasted episode it's one of those episodes that were necessary I didn't want to move on to our next app which is forestry and University City we're gonna use over in this area without addressing the mess of a traffic jam we had going on so I'm hoping that that this will uh, be the best solution so if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share bye